Devil is bigger than you, bigger than me, bigger than all of us. Isaiah 11, verse to what? 11. And it should come to pass in that day that the Lord should set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which should be left from Assyria, Egypt, Pathros, Cush, Elam. Right? And who? Should not. And what? Hammond. And then finally, the Isles of the Sea. <laughs> the Isles of the Sea. So we kind of dissected. I gave you my perspective. We opened up some terms and some definitions along the way. And trying to get us a fresh perspective of an old principle that is set forth in scriptures that we're not necessarily looking for a plot of land. This is actually uh, some characteristics, some aspects of a people, right? We've, we've established that off the top. It took me one and a half teachings to get that settled because <laughs> that's the way you got to do it, contextually. They call it grammatic, grammatical historical text. That's one of the terms in, in seminaries that you got to have. So you got to be true to the text. And so we've been true to the text. It started off historically. Now we make it in a prophetic application. Right? So we stopped on Wednesday for those that were late to the party. On Wednesday, we, we, we were able to go into, what, Shinnah? And we never made it to Hamlet, huh? Yeah, we did. But the last part I gave Shinnah, we talked about Shinnah represents what? Three things. Come on, y'all. What's the first one for Shinar? Then your notes. Those that came on Wednesday. Huh? Really? Was that the first one? Dang. Put can you There you go. Jesus. The watch of him who sleeps. Remember? Right? Dang. Oh, it's three days removed, huh? Is that what it is? Divided stream, right? And then we talked about how that has to do with the church. Mm -hmm. Three, we said holy severed or cut off. Which, mm -hmm. which, 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 what did we say about being holy severed or cut off? Huh? Oh. It, okay. Let's go to duality. Let's try duality. What did we say about duality? Because I didn't really cover a lot of that. I covered more on being severed, being separated from the things of God. I mean, we're severed, we're cut off holy. God is restoring us. Maybe that's why the scripture says he's going to preserve us, blame us holy. Spirit, soul, and body. So he's going to connect the dots for us. There's going to be a completely new framework. This, that's why this, this cathesis man, this new creation man, is being formed in the earth. That house, that unit that God has put himself on, that we're his jacket that he wants to do in the earth. And that's just, this is some of the things that he's doing. Fourth one, last but not least, is duality. Get the tape from Wednesday for those that was here, and then those that weren't here get it from Wednesday. Amen? So, duality. Duality. We went over to Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1 through 3. We discussed how he put off the coat, or she put off the coat, mm -hmm. and put it on. So I wash my feet. How should I defile them? We talked about how mm -hmm. the duplicity of thought comes to keep us with a sense of condemnation. And we don't have the self-worth, which we'll be talking about mm -hmm. more in detail on the next, on Hamlet, the next topic. So we talked about how uh, uh, the mind has, a, I don't think I mentioned this. How the mind has been uh, separated, or should I say how the mind has caused the separation, that mind being an unrenewed mind, which we call the carnal mind, has not understood his relationship as it is to God and is walking independent of the things of God. Mm -hmm. And these things com are comprised of these actions are what we call thoughts, <coughs> imaginations that keep us from flowing and being conscious of God and we're more conscious of our problems and our situations and the things that are outside of us. And it's caused a sense of separation between us and God, which is the same thing that was done in the garden. In the garden, <laughs> they, they thought that uh, 
They needed something other than mm -hmm. what they already had. Mm -hmm. And most of us have not learned to submit to what the Spirit of God has been given to the believer to do. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's imperative for us to begin to allow the mind of Christ. That's where we stop. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 2.16. Let's go there. 1 Corinthians 2.16. The mind, the mind, the mind. 2.16. <laughs> So duality is two minds. Du that's what duality is. I mean, theologically, duality is law and grace. But on a practical level, it's two minds. That's why James called it double-minded. You ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And double-minded is disukos. Sukos is mind in Greek. Di is two. Division. So di is a sign of two. So there's two visions. Or two minds. Right? And so if we're going to really get to understand how to uh, allow the Holy Spirit to sanctify our emotions and bring it into a level of solidarity with the mind of Christ, the only way that's going to happen is through the Word of God. You can attend church. You can belong to a church. It has no regard. Amen. Being on the premises don't mean that God is changing you. In fact, Ben, ben Franklin said something. Said that once you finish, you, if you, he said something about being changed. And if you if you haven't changed, then you are finished. Mm -hmm. That's good. People are always looking for a finish, but if you haven't changed, you finished. Mm -hmm. So you should always long to change. We we always long to have an incorruptible uh, disposition as it relates to the things of God. We don't want to pollute the covenant. I mean, know that. Mm -hmm. I know. I know what they told us and what they're saying on Facebook, mm -hmm. but I'm here to tell you that there is a responsibility that's been given to us as believers. That's why we must be renewed in the spirit of our minds, and so we have to settle some things in our thinking. And one of the things we have to know that we are in union with God. Yes. We are in union with God. This is what it says: For who has known the mind of the Lord that He may instruct him? But we have what? The mind of Christ. The new us. We have God's perspective. That's what, that's what it means when you have the mind of Christ. It's not this, this utopian, ethereal, out of body, glow in the dark, levitation, walking through walls. <laughs> it is a mental capacity. That means your cognitive ability is God-centered. It's not looking. It's not looking from your senses. You know. You know. It's five senses, right? Mm -hmm. what, what, let's do them easy. I do. I, this is. This will help me. I go T S H. T. Taste. Touch. See. Smell. What's left? Here. That's what I do. T S H. This helps me out. I'm not a. No. <laughs> Not a quick whip, so I had to kind of condense this where I can understand it. So I know touch, taste, see, smell, hear. Those five senses. That's what the old man used to operate under. We can't operate under those senses. Because those senses don't make sense for Amen. a believer. It's foolishness. It won't allow you to enter into the height, the depth, the length, and the breadth of God, the knowledge, because it's that knowledge base that's going to cut off those tentacles, those connectors, those receptacles that's on the inside of us that are still holding on to some things of the past. Yeah. Are y'all are you, are you with me, right? Mm -hmm. yes. We're still earthbound mm -hmm. and seasick. Mm -hmm. Remember a long time ago? Earthbound and seasick. We have no stability. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to build it on the only foundation. There's only one foundation, mm -hmm. and that is Jesus Christ. And so I said uh, the, the church must come into the same quality. Matter of fact, let me walk. It is impossible to answer destiny not when we are double-minded and spiritually weakened by duality. Mm -hmm. Jesus was single-minded and set his face like a flint to complete mm -hmm. his assignment from the Father. You got to set your face like a flint. That's, you got it out of Jeremiah. I got that from Jeremiah. Jer Jeremiah had a face like a flint. God said, I'm going to make you like a brazen wall. Nothing that the enemy can form against you will prosper. Yes. That's, and the same thing Jesus told us in red, that your yay be yes. and your nay be. Nay. That's, that's what he said. 
Learn to make decisions. Don't waver. Don't halt. Apostolic people can make decisions. You know what I'm saying? Church folks be like, ah, one moment they're like, yeah, I got my mind made up. And then two days later, they're like, well, I changed my mind. Really? What happened in 48 hours? <laughs> it shouldn't be that fickle. We should have resolve because our decision making coming out of our spirit. See, when you make decisions out of your emotions, then you can 48 hours later, 72 hours later, mm -hmm. you done backed up, backed out. And you, oh, my bag, got your spiritual Baptist finger up. <laughs> I think I want to opt out of that decision, Apostle. I, I kind of changed. Things has changed. Things don't change that fast. And, and there for a variety of reasons. But let me get back to my message. This, the church must come into the same quality of simplicity and singleness of mind until we see that we are, he and we are one. We will continue to clash within ourselves, neutralizing our consciousness by conflict. What's the conflict? The two minds. Yeah. Torn between two lovers, mm -hmm. trying to figure out who we're going to submit to. The issue of our allegiance. Huh? Look, anything you keep, look, I'm going to tell you, one thing I found about God, if He tells you something or the Spirit of God is leading you to something, you better make that decision. Because even though it may be a season of smooth sailing, there's turbulence up around the corner. Yes. It's hitting reeves. You can't see. Amen. <laughs> There's a wind about to blow upon your boat. Amen. <laughs> it's somewhere along the line. We don't have foresight. Yeah. And he could be salvaging us and saving us yeah. from complete loss. And then we all start looking and start measuring and trying to figure out. Hmm, and then count the costs and try to figure out how we can manipulate the system. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Duality will cause you to see what, what's the least.